Cheris Booker here. Today, we'd like to introduce you to 360 Deploy version 2. At 360 Works, we believe in outside of the box thinking to provide tools that genuinely help the FileMaker developer community build what works best for their clients. 360 Deploy is like having your own personal deployment assistant. You configure it, meaning you tell it where everything is and how you want it done. Then you click one button to deploy development changes to your users and 360 Deploy goes to work for you. It clones, transfers, imports, backs up, renames, resumes, and emails you a post-migration report once the process is complete. Version 2 now leverages the brand new FileMaker data migration tool introduced with the release of the FileMaker 17 platform. This makes the data migration in 360 Deploy 2 super fast. Do any of these examples sound familiar to you? You are spending a lot of time building and improving your FileMaker solution and now you need to update the live file for your clients? You want more time to develop as opposed to dealing with tedious data imports to make changes. You want to use the new FileMaker data migration tool but wish the whole process could be automated. You've heard about a few other wrappers for the FileMaker data migration tool, but you want to avoid opening, closing, exporting clones, and hassling with files on the server. You want a one-button experience that gives you the freedom to meet with clients, take a break, or get other work done, and then come back to a completed process that deployed changes and updated the production file for you. If any of these examples resonate with you, 360 Deploy 2 can help. Let's take a look at 360 Deploy 2 in comparison to other data migration methods. 360 Deploy 2 clones the file automatically, allows for simultaneous deployment to multiple servers, sets the next serial number, does not require familiarity with the command line, auto detects server operating system and uses the right migration tool, automatically opens and closes the file on the server, emails your report when complete, has a graphical user interface to facilitate the migration process, uploads files to the server for you, renames and resumes. It does require the purchase of the FileMaker developer subscription because it uses the FileMaker data migration tool. And also because of this, data migration is fast. 360 Deploy 2 also allows for automatic deployment from a separate dev server. It includes the fantastic support from 360 Works. You can get either email or phone support. And finally, there is a scheduling feature which allows you to run the deployment unattended. Getting started with 360 Deploy is simple. Once you go to our landing page, if you're ready to purchase or download a demo, we have licenses available at the Buy Now button. Once you click download the current version, you'll get a zip file with 360 Deploy 2. This will have your installer and everything you need. So as a first step, we will install 360 Deploy. When you install and open the folder, you'll see that you have a demo solution, installers, and the configuration tool. Once you install 360 Deploy, you'll want to open your files and make sure they're hosted on FileMaker server. Now we're ready to go ahead and configure 360 Deploy. Remember, this is just us telling 360 Deploy where our servers are and what we want it to do. So you'll go ahead and enter the account credentials, come to the 360 Deploy setup screen, and get started. Entering your license information is the first part, and also entering your email where 360 Deploy can send a post-migration report to once the process is complete. In this section, you'll want to drag and drop your FileMaker data migration tools. These should be zip files containing the FileMaker data migration tool files. For the rest of the process, you'll simply follow the guided setup provided by 360 Deploy. Keep in mind, 
mind, this process is something that you only have to do one time. Going forward, you can deploy future development changes with just one button. Once we review the configuration details, we'll never need to do the setup again. Anytime we need to make changes, we can click this one button to deploy.